Facebook and political persecution without a trace. Good morning, YouTube. I woke up to a rather interesting uh, notification from Facebook this morning, and uh, it was all over a image that I had uh, that I had shared. So let me show you uh, that image. This would be that image. I uh, just for the fun of it because. I watched the uh, the press conference, the disaster that was last night, and afterwards I sought out a, a funny meme to share on our local Facebook group. Uh, this is the image that I had settled upon. As you can see, it's the um, Hope style type of poster uh, with Joe Biden, and uh, and the message "I'm Joe Biden," and I forgot this message. So, no big deal, right? Ha ha, funny, funny. I knew it was going to get some opposition. This is the group that we had started some three years ago. We're now up to uh, 4.2 thousand or 4,200 plus members, uh, which is incredible, and we're growing pretty rapidly. I'm very proud of this group, not in a prideful kind of bad way, but uh, they have been a incredible a group of people, and um, we have an incredible community, and, uh, and and the people likewise, they do a really good job, um, because I'm hands off on a lot of it, um, plain and simple, you know, I promised them free speech, and as long as they don't, you know, violate any kinds of like legal territories, so to speak, you know, making threats and whatnot, uh, I let them speak. I let them speak their mind. I let them hash things out uh, because we should all have that level of respect because that is respect. And so I had made that post last night and woke up this morning to a uh, notification that the post was removed. <clears throat> and you might think, you know, okay, uh, go ahead. Try to come up with the ways that you think the post was removed. Um, I'm going to show you, right here is the notification that I got. It said, we removed your post, and you can see it is indeed the same image there. And I did put the caption, as the funny haha, -ha, in search of brick wall to bang my head upon, lol. I'm failing to see <laughs> how this went against their community standards on sexual activity. That is the claim against me. That's the claim that was levied against me that I violated the rules on sexual activity, right? So, good enough. What you need to know, they explain all their different policies and their information. And then uh, it says, see options. Now, this is an image, so I can't click on that actual thing. But let me come on over here. And, uh, you know, I clicked on a thing asking more or less about Tell me more about this sexual activity deal. And uh, it says we don't allow people to share imagery that shows sexual activity. And hey, I'm in agreement with that. I get it. I get it. Examples of things we don't allow. Showing sexual intercourse where at least one person's genitals are visible. No. Um, this wasn't a, a, a screen capture of Joe Biden in the shower with his daughter. No, nope, no, nope, no genitals. Uh, showing stimulation of genitals, anus, uncovering female nipples or breasts. And again, it wasn't Joe Biden and his daughter in the shower. So, um, showing implied sexual intercourse or stimulation. Uh, no, I don't. I don't believe that. That it. Uh, I don't believe that it had that either. So when you click on the status on the account status, right? This is what it says, right? Your account looks good. Thanks for sticking to the rules and making Facebook a better place. Um, okay. So what about last night, right? To, to quote a bad movie. What about last night? Um, okay. So let's check out the history. What What is my history on Facebook? Um, what? Where's last night's violation? It doesn't even exist. 
it doesn't even exist. So I made this post that was removed for violating their community standards on sexual activity. And there's absolutely no record other than the images that I took. I cannot wait until that pendulum of power swings back the other way. Because I have never, ever been a Sue happy person. I have never, ever been somebody that got enjoyment out of pressing charges or anything like that. But this is one time that I will be doing so on every single thing that I can do. My question is, is there still time for me to register to vote for Trump in 2024? I honestly don't know. But I'm going to be doing what I can to see if I can register to vote. I mean, I guess the best place to go would be the Department of Immigration, right? They'd probably get me fast-tracked uh, in, into uh, a voter roll, right? Congratulations, Blue Team. You turned a non-voter into a voter in opposition. Pat yourself on the back. Shalom.